So how could you pay off your mortgage in just five years using property investments? What's going on everybody? It's Blandon here from Mortgage HQ and in this video, I'm going to share a client story with you. Now it's not one of those rag to riches story, nor a get rich quick scheme story. It's a story of a lady who worked very hard and dedicated herself to the craft to put herself in a position where she could pay off her mortgage in just five years. Now, when we first met Hang, she was pretty much on minimum wage, a migrant lady from Vietnam. So English is obviously not her first language. And sometimes that will narrow down the kind of job she can take on. But luckily for migrants, we have hustle. She worked a lot of overtime. And when I say a lot, I meant a lot. She lived very frugally and she managed to save everything that she had and bought the first property in 2013. We met in 2016 and up to that point, she has been very prudent with her finances. She didn't spend that much at all and she always put extra money towards her mortgage. Because surely this is the quickest way you can pay off your mortgage, right? Unfortunately not. She dreaded opening that bank app on her phone because every time she opened that app, she virtually saw no changes on her mortgage. It's almost like trying to put out a forest fire with a glass of water. So she knew there has to be a better way. So the big idea that she had first was negotiate a lower interest rate and get some cash back from the bank. And that's where she found us online. So when we met up with her, we explored a new idea called equity recycling. If you want to learn more about that, you can check out another video called how to buy your second property with using equity in the description below. Now, although her mortgage didn't go down that much over the three years, her property value, however, has increased significantly. During 2013 to 2016, certainly she had some headwind there. The equity she had gained on her property was more than everything that she had saved ever up to that point in her life. So the question we posed for her is this, knowing that a decent property that you hold on to will always go up in value over the long term, what would owning a second property mean for you? A property where all of the expenses like insurance rates and mortgage repayment is fully covered by the rent. She had a light bulb moment straight away because she could hold on to the second property and over time the value goes up, all of the expenses are paid for and eventually she decides to sell that property she'll have a big chunk of money to actually pay off her own mortgage. And so even if she had to pay capitals gains tax or tax deductibility, as long as all of the expenses are covered because she knows that she would have made money. So the next question is, what if you could hold three property instead of just one extra one? Now, I don't know what you guys are thinking as well. It's a very scary thought. Because in most people's mind, there are two major barrier here. Number one is that three extra properties is a lot of debt, a mountain of debt that you can't imagine paying off. And secondly, how on earth would you be able to borrow so much money anyway? However, Hang chose to put her faith in us and we were able to help her with a plan to actually buy her next few properties. We made sure to give her some rental income guidelines that she has to look for in the property so that she could lower her cash flow risk position. So then we embarked on this journey to grow her property portfolio and to pay off her mortgage faster using property investment as a vehicle. So what happened next? Here's a quick timeline. 2016 May, our very first application was actually a refinance for a lower interest rate and a pre-approval for a new investment property of $200,000. Now the key thing here isn't the lower interest rate, is the pre-approval for the new property. Because she was in a low cash flow and low equity position, it really limited her choice in property investment strategies. So to compensate for her financial position, 
she had to look for something in that 200k range and had to have very very high cash flow return which is a high rental income to cover all of the expense so that straight away ruled out auckland because everything is a million dollar plus pretty much so we decided to follow grandfather's footsteps and we went to look at properties in the hawks bay okay at this point you probably think it sounds easy enough you can just go out and do this thing and make it happen tomorrow however this was far from the truth because she looked at many many properties went to many open homes and she made many offers six months in she was fatigued and she wanted to give up altogether because she was just missing out on these properties by a little bit because her budget was so limited but luckily there are people just cheering her on and she kept going one year later we're now in 2017 june we settled her very first investment property it took exactly one year to find this thing it was a hundred eighty thousand dollar property in hastings giving a return of 320 per week it's a cash flow positive property meaning every expense bill is all covered including the mortgage repayments and it still had a surplus where she could use that extra money to pay down her own mortgage and this property gave her so much confidence that she knew she had to do more investments so she decided to quit her job and found a slightly higher paying job so that she could keep borrowing money one year later 2018 july this is when she bought her second property for 190 thousand dollars and it gave her 330 dollars in rent again cash flow positive and allowed surplus to pay off her own mortgage as well another year gone by 2019 june she recycled her equity once again now because she has three properties so the values of these properties all have gone up so she's building her equity much faster now because of that she's able to buy something in a slightly higher price range she bought a 285 thousand dollar investment property with a rental yield of four hundred dollars per week another year goes by 2020 july bought her fourth property again cash flow positive for three hundred thirty four thousand and and yielding a four hundred dollars per week in rent now coming into 2021 eventually most people will run out of service and capacity and this is sort of what happened to hang but it didn't make sense for her to actually stop looking at properties because she has developed a such a high income skill and that is identifying high cash flow properties that are undervalued so what we did instead of just trying to force another property we sold the first one because the value has gone up so much but the rent hasn't caught up so in terms of percentage it's not very high anymore and so she could sell that property for the same money she could buy another property that has much higher cash flow giving her more passive income and so she ended up selling that first investment property that she bought for double what she paid and in 2021 she settles on a home and income where there are two properties on one title for five hundred thousand dollars returning six hundred dollars per week now the other upside to this property is that it's on a section that is 2600 square meter meaning she could do future developments on it and generate even more income from it so it's pretty much been exactly five years since we started working together she now has more than enough equity to actually pay off her own home at any time she wants and probably have enough to buy a lamborghini if she really wants to as well so quick summary of what she's achieved as of today property value 2.8 million property equity position 1.2 million cash flow after all of the expense and mortgage repayment $28,000 per year now for some people these might not be huge numbers because they might just buy a million dollar property just like that but what I'm really impressed about her story and what she's managed to achieve is that she did this all on a five figure salary in saying that the truth must be told it was not easy even for us trying to work with her there were a lot of back and forth it was not easy and it took a lot of determination hard work and a fine mortgage advisor 
But what I'm most excited about is her future because now she has set herself up for a very good retirement. If she just did nothing, sat there for 10 years, and if we assumed an annual growth rate of capital gains of just 5%, in 10 years time, she could retire with 3 mil of equity mortgage free. That is a glimpse of what property investments can do and how you could potentially build up enough equity to pay off your mortgage in just five years. If you want to learn exactly how you can set up your next three property purchase, do check out the stage two masterclass in the description below. Until the next video, I'll see you again.